when she's on, man, she looks like a future world champion. And I'm so happy. I feel better than ever. And from here on up, I'm just going to keep improving. Loopy! Lupita! That's on video. I've never been happier. I'm made for a fucking podcast. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Listen to me, we're at it. All right, let's count down. Ten, nine. All right, welcome to UFC Unfiltered. Matt thought I was going to go from 10 to 0, and I just stopped at 8. Yeah. Um, Lupe Godinez will be our guest today after a really unbelievable uh, win on Saturday night. The whole car was really great over Elise Reed, by the way. I was also very impressed with Elise Reed, um, how tough she was and how she handled adversity in that first round. I really like her, too. Sometimes you watch someone lose a fight. Um, and Roman Kovalev over Josh Fram. What a great fight that was, too. This Romy's won four straight by knockout or TKO. He's going to be a problem in the middleweight division. Um, and Matt, let me ask you a, a question here, because I watched the fight. I thought the grasso Shevchenko fight was unbelievable. Mm. Um, and I, I thought I the it. decision was correct. I thought it was a draw. But I was not aware, and I don't know, maybe I just didn't pay attention, that there was a 10-8 round given to Grasso in the, in the fifth? Yeah, I think that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I mean, when did she at the very last moment, right? It was towards the end. And it was 50-50, the- I thought, yeah. Listen, it was a very close fight. I'm okay with it being a draw. Sure. Uh, it ended with Alexa hunting for the finish and in a very dominant position, and she's the champion. So I'm even more at home with her keeping the belt. Because sure. if it ended if it ended the other way around with Valentina Valentina on the back, hunting for the sub, and I, I would be like, all right, that feels it doesn't feel that bad. I'm happy that she retained it, but sure. I still think uh, you know it shows, it shows Valentina that this is not a fluke. You know what I mean? It's not a fluke. In time, we don't. It could be a toss up. I mean, Alexa. She sometimes when you get a you you win a fight like she won in that first fight versus Valentina, you start to believe like Neo in the Matrix when there is no spoon. You understand? All right, it's well, a pop- I don't know what that means. Well, I, I don't expect you to. To be honest, I, I know Matrix. Uh, well, there is no spoon, Jimmy. Can I ask you? <laughs> can we well, see? Listen, I'm sorry, Matt, I want to those judges' scores. Um, again, I, I was happy with the draw, and but I thought I thought Valentina was winning the beginning of the round. I thought she looked good, and then I thought Grasso just it turned it on at the end of the round. But I mean, a fucking 10 8, how does that happen? My point was with that whole matrix thing is that she believes in herself, yeah, of course. Even so, her level, it, it man, like people, if they thought it was a fluke the first time, I mean, I thought it was, I thought she really fought a great fight, Alexa, and uh, yeah, and so did Valentina. I thought Valentina did too. Yeah, I think she did also, but I thought it's hysterical, though. I thought it's hysterical that uh, that Valentina says she won it because it's the Mexican Pride Month or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's not true. That's not I true. know, but I thought that was just, I thought that was like a brutally honest fucking, you know, listen, you can't expect these one, these girls that are such champions to be good losers, you know, or good not winners, you know what I mean? Not that she lost, but she drew, had a draw, a draw. But, uh, you know, what are we looking at here? I'm looking at the judges' scores, and it looks like everyone scored it. Uh, no. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Junichiro uh, Kamijo or Kamayo. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Had it uh, a little bit differently. But I don't see a 10-8 from Mike Bell. I don't know how you score. 10-9, D'Amato. Uh, and 10 9, uh, South Diamato, sorry. And uh, uh, Camillo scored a 10 9. So clearly everyone saw it for the champion. But a 10 8, um, I, I think, is pretty hey, fucking ludicrous. Hey, Mike Bell. That's terrible. I, 
terrible. Well, my singing or this Mike Bell? But you know what? I appreciate your request for clarity. Mike Bell's decision to put that at 10 8 is terrible. Your singing is life ruining. There is a difference. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. But listen. I didn't mean it. No, but listen, I, I can see both of them giving that round, but uh, 10 8. What would justify the 10 8? That he thinks that he came close to finishing? He came close to finishing? I'm kind of. Uh, because standing before that, it was pretty close. I, I I don't know the numbers. Yeah, I thought if I remember correctly, uh, he's asking us now about Shevchenko taking the fourth, uh, which Mike Bell and Sal Diamato saw. But um, Junichiro Kamisha saw that as a uh, as a uh, Alexa Grasso. Um, yeah, maybe he was. I a gotta little, go back. Uh, and I have to go back and watch that fourth again. Yeah. All right, guys, get these numbers off there. You're, you're yeah, I, 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 I just don't understand that 10 8 map. What a great fight that was! And it what was. a great, oh, sorry, Jack Della Maddalena against uh Kevin Holland. Um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I, I thought that it was very close. I thought Jack eked it out. Um, it was certainly not like a robbery at all. I, I thought Jack did should have gotten the nod, but again, uh, Kevin looked really good as well, so it was kind of hard to say. I, I would have been okay if Kevin won it, but I was fine that Jack did too. It was a very close fight. Yeah, I think it went the right way, but if it would have went to Kevin, I wouldn't have been. Right, me neither. Yeah, oh. I would have been like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Because Jack did stay the course. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He stayed the course. I mean, some punches got through, but, you know, Kevin does roll with them a lot. A lot and you know? that last 30 seconds in a close fight, I mean, he really turned it on. And they, they said he's known for that in that last 30 seconds. But he did it again. And by the way, a, a, a huge win for Raul Rosas Jr. over Terrence Mitchell. After that first loss uh, that he took to Rodriguez, um, people weren't sure what's he going to be. I mean, was this kid just an amazing uh, uh, a fighter before UFC? And now he gets here and uh, some of the things he needs to relearn. And he comes out and he knocks him out in the first round. So great, great win for uh, Raul Rosas Jr. I thought that was awesome. And I like, could you, maybe you could play for us, please, uh, Jake, the mighty ginger. Could you play for us when he gets on the mic and he does a, oh, he does like a, oh, no, 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 like that type of thing, but not quite like that. That's, that's my own thing. But Jimmy, he got on the mic and he did a very unique, I got, 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 got. did you hear him? I uh, I don't remember that part. I saw the five. I don't remember Close that. Close your part. eyes. This was him. No, ready? Play it. Ready? To the video thing. You fought almost angry in there. What led to that? After suffering your first loss, that is the way you bounce back. <laughs> Man. Hey. Jimmy, do that. Please do it. Come on. Do it. I can't. Jimmy, do it! Ready? Go! Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, don't do that. Oh, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> it's called a grit. Oh, it's actually a grito. Yeah, but why couldn't we hear that oh, on Zoom? Oh! No. Wouldn't you want to be a grito, too? I don't know. Grito means shout in Spanish. Oh. That's fun. See, you learn little things on... Uh, ah, yes, you do. By the way, Matt, congratulations to Tracy Cortez. This show is good luck. Uh, unanimous decision over Jasmine Jasudovicius. Uh, so congratulations to Tracy. People come on here and they just win. Hey, man. Tracy did awesome, no? Yeah, she did. She looked great. I thought that was cool, man. I thought her hands looked great. Her takedown defense. I mean, she was accurate with her counter strikes. I... Man, I, she had a little bit of a layoff, so you don't know what you're going to get. Sure. But it, show, it shows that she's been in the gym, man. And what, you did, you th what did you think, too, Matt, about uh, that Roman Kopolov against Josh Fram, a body shot, liver shot, it looked like. He threw it. I mean, he was looked really good in that first round. Um, much more even first round. The second round, they both get a little tired. And then uh, Kopolov throws such beautiful kicks and by heavy Oven St. Prue like body kicks, you know, just a heavy left leg to the body. And he hurt him with one, and he had a couple of head kicks that were kind of blocked. 
And then he just threw a body shot. It looked like he went right up into the liver, and it just. I love when a body shot drops someone because you know that that's for for a fighter to 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 drop down and lose the fight after a body shot. You know that was a hell of a shot. Yeah, that was a problem. It doesn't matter how tough you are, man. Your body shuts down. That's what they said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was nasty. He was very calm the whole time. You notice that? Mm-hmm. Very calm. He's like that. He's just. Again, four straight, whether knockout or TKO. I don't think he's ranked yet. Am I wrong? Um, I don't if he's, know, man. He should be soon. But he's like that, and that's the way he is. Ooh, ooh. I like old rap songs. I put that into our show. I used to. You want me to do more? <laughs> you want me to do more of that? Um, answer me later. Think about it. Don't you? Uh, let me think. Give me, give me a little time. Food for thought. Food for thought. Um, so, yeah, what do you think they do? do? Do they run it back a third time? Because that 10-8, let me ask you a question. What's the result if he gives a 10-9? Is it the same result? No. Uh, um, what, what is the, or does she win the, or, or is it, what happens if that's a 10-9? Um, yeah. Uh, can you check, Jake? I, 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 know, I probably should know that. But if that was a 10-9 round, would it have affected anything or would it still have been a, uh, a split draw? I don't know if I've ever seen a split draw. I've seen a majority draw, which I believe is how Woodley beat Wonderboy. The 10-8, so that would have been, oh, she would have got the win. Valentina would have got the win if it wasn't Wait, for that. <laughs> if that was 10-9, that would have been Valentina's... Uh, yeah, I mean that's what that's what she's saying. That's How the that th then Valentina got robbed because that was that, not a ten eight round. It was not a fucking ten eight round. Again, she did <clears throat> she did jump on her at the end, but that was absolutely not a ten eight round. That you think I'm just singing a song when I go ooh ooh Mike Bell? <laughs> listen, listen, Mike Bell should be held accountable for that ten eight round. A hundred percent, man. A hundred percent. Yo, Charlie Campbell, look, Anik went off about it. That's what I heard. About what, the 10-8? Yeah, about, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, by the way, Charlie Campbell, he looked really good, you know. he's uh, He trains out of Longos, and he took out Alex Reyes, and he just looked in control. And then he did a little rock thing on the microphone. So good for you, Charlie Campbell. And shout out to your Uncle Pete, who has an excellent diner in Long Island. <laughs> He does. Um, wow, was that fucking terrible? That is bad. I, I just, I just, I watched the fight. I watched them on delay when I got home um, because I was working. So I, I got, a lot of times I didn't, I, you know, I just, I watch. It's three o'clock in the morning when I'm watching these fights. That is fucking infuriating that he cost Valentina that belt. Hey, man, get over it. No, I'm only kidding. My point no, is but that's like a robbery, Matt. That's not fight. like there's going to be bad calls or ten nine, ten nine. But a 10 8 is egregious. That is an egregious thing. It, it just doesn't make sense to me how that happened. Hey, man. This is my thing. It was a close fucking fight, though. Yeah. I don't know. You're going down. We're going down to that one round, but there's other rounds that might have went, should have went the other way. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, 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 can, I can live with it, but I understand Valentina's frustration, though. If she finds out that that Teddy rounds the, that's she does. Oh, yeah, she's furious. I don't blame her. I I don't blame her. Mike Bell is that? What a terrible job he did. Yeah. Oh, what's this next card? Oh shit! Bryce Mitchell versus Dan Ige. That's gonna. That's gonna be. What is that? What is that card? Oh, hold on. It's on the side. September twenty third. Oh, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, what, me? Or you? I, I, I'm so stunned at this oh fucking God. guy. I mean, how is that? How, but how does that happen where someone gets robbed like that without a, some kind of investigation into this guy where he's a, a, apparently not allowed? He should not be allowed to, to, to judge again if, if enough people judge that as egregiously bad. What a bum. He might have cost Valentina the fucking the, the belt. Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, he did. And uh, Hafiel Faziv is going to be fighting um, Gamrot. Oh, yeah. yes. But who's Gamrot? Yes. 
Yeah, so that's going to be the main event on the main card. That's wild this Saturday coming up. And also, man, the return of the Karate Hottie, Michelle Waterson's fighting Marina Rodriguez. This is a really good card. Brian Battle is fighting AJ Fletcher. Bryce Mitchell, Danny, yeah, is a great fight. Did you say that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I did say that. I'm sorry, I'm, Matt. No, no, it's all good, man. You can say it again. That's how nice it is. Hey, Cardo uh, Ramos. Did you say Brian Battle against AJ Fletcher? I did say no, that. I want you to say it again. Charles Jordan. Now, that poor guy. Not poor guy. He did great versus Crone Gracie, but everybody was more shitting on Crone. Yeah. Than Charles. Charles still had to shut him down. Sure did. Was that when Dana came out and said it was like watching something from like the 90s or, or 2006? Was that the fight that he commented on that? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Mizuki is fighting Hannah Goldie. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, this Andre Fialo, Tim card. Means. It's a great card. Yeah. So, Jimmy. Yes, buddy. I'm almost done with Yellowstone. I, I couldn't get past the second episode. It's just not for me. Yeah, well, listen. You could be a negative little nitty. No, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not negative. I just wasn't for me. Yeah. Listen. I enjoy it, and I'm not exactly the yeah. – some stuff I can do without when they get a little too deep in the yee on and the fucking – they're showing just some – them doing tricks with the lassos and shit. I don't give a fuck. We don't need that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that shit. We don't need that shit. What's that Holy Walnuts sunbathing in the fucking – with his fucking getting his sun – in the front of the poor. I like stuff like that, like real yeah. stuff I can relate to. Do you know what I was working on today? Your new bit? No, for jujitsu. Oh, I was me. working. I'm just, I'm just learning triangles, now head and arm like triangles. I've just, just started doing that, and it's hard to get into position and all that. It's, it takes some real, you know. I'm still not great at it, and I probably won't be for a long time. But how to convert that into an arm bar if you're not getting that? I'll tell you right now, the head and arm choke. Yeah, not to choke, choke the uh, triangle. Oh, the triangle. Which head and arm triangle. Yeah. Yeah. The head and arm triangle. It's the head and arm choke. Same thing. You, it's it's this way. You can go here or you can. Well, no, your leg triangle. Triangle. Oh, choke. oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Why? Oh, you confused me. I thought you meant. The, oh, you said. I think you said the arm triangle. What did you just say? No, no. I was saying. I was saying uh, the head and arm uh, a triangle choke. I should just said triangle choke. You know what I'm talking about. I uh, listen, Jiu Jitsu. I was man. saying head and arm because he kept saying, "All right, you got to." The confusing part is which leg do I throw over? Like literally, if his left arm is through, I got to throw my left leg. It's just hard to remember which left and right. I, Mike kept telling me, "Wrong one, wrong leg." I'm a oh, fucking. Idiot. Hey, listen, you'll you soon like when you're mounted, somebody's mounted on you. You're not, like right now, you're pushing up, you're doing this. Soon, you're not going to remember the wrong way to do things. You're just going to the right way is going to be put into your. Uh, Wait, speaking of chokes, oh, Loopy. Yes, she did. Although I don't like your hand handed yeah, segue. Was nice in the waiting room. Oh, very nice. All right. <laughs> he, was, oh, he was trying. He's being slick. I didn't like his okay. ham handed segue. It won't do. Very Hannibal Lecter of me. Yeah, let's bring in Loopy. What a great fight she had. What a great fight she had. I just said what yeah. you said. <laughs> let's get her in here. God, man. I'm furious about that 10 8. That ruined my day. Well, Listen, forget about that shit. We got a movie here. I know. Hey, can you hear us, Loopy? Yes, now I can. Oh, how are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Congratulations. Congrats. What a great Huge fight. Huge congrats. Huge congrats, Loopy. That's um, what an amazing fight. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I I feel better than ever, to be honest. Were you amazed that, I mean, I was also very impressed with Elise Reed because she was so durable and she uh, she escaped so much damage, especially the uh, when you were uh, uh, arm bar. I, I couldn't believe she survived that and how uh, and how she was trying to, she like spun around and was using her feet to keep your hands off. And then didn't you switch arms and try to grab her other arm or was it the same arm twice? 
Uh, I think it was the same arm, actually. Yeah, oh. I'm pretty sure it was the same arm, yeah. And, and she just was really, really difficult to put away. Um, did you feel the difference in the second round when you got her, or, or did you have her well in the first, uh, or did you definitely feel the difference in the second, like, yeah, this is, I got her? Yeah, you know, she did a great job uh, maintaining her, you know, her, like, I, I don't think at any, I didn't feel like at any point she was about to quit, right. because in the round, I did feel like she was fighting still, you know, like, I was like, okay, I had to push it a little bit more to to get her, to get her out of here, you know, and the first round, um, when I had the arm, I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I couldn't arch anymore. I was going to blow my back before her army was going to blow, right? Then I was like, okay. Then uh, Diego Lopez asked me to switch to a triangle. So I switched to a triangle and to elbow a little bit. Then he told me to switch my leg for, for the armbar. So I did exactly that uh, by the time when I... Uh, but yeah, it was it was a great fight. I think she did, you know, great job defending everything. I was reading that um, you thought that you broke her arm. Did you hear any? I know in the arm, you usually hear around four clicks in the elbow. Did you hear it pop at all? Did you feel it pop? Yeah, I didn't hear anything at all. But when I was looking at her arm, I did saw a bump like sticking out, you know. So and then in the second round, I don't know if you saw, I don't know if they show it. But she started the fight like going on like this. I'm kind of like grabbing the arm a little bit. So I'm like, okay, that arm is damaged. That had to help your confidence a little bit, Go right? Going into the second? Yeah, I'm like, there is no way you're going to be me with one arm. Let me yes. tell you. <laughs> well, you were body slamming her too. I mean, you you weren't just getting taken. I mean, you were, didn't you, was it six? Was it five or six in that round? I think it was five. It was five. I think they said six was the record. Um, and, and you were really, really, uh, that was, you were very, very, uh, brutally slamming her. I was really impressed with how well she survived because you seemed like you were doing everything right. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like every single, it was like, it was like, I was drilling in there, honestly, every single day at the gym with, with the three coaches that, that they were, um, in the cage, we were drilling exactly that takedowns, punches, submissions after submissions. Like, I cannot tell you. I was blown away. This is the first time I, I feel that way, that I was just going in the cage to, to do drilling pretty much. And yeah, I, I, I couldn't believe it. And you also, you please, right, uh, Jimmy. no, you go, Matt. Sorry, buddy. No, I was just going to say, I heard you recently made a, uh, a switch to the Lobo gym, which is where uh, the champ Crosso trains. Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, okay. So I've been going there back and forth for about two years, just uh, not doing full camps, just like visiting and, and you know, just training with, with the team. And we have a great connection. They are great people. And since day one, when I was there for training, I was like, this is where I need to be. But of course I have my team in Vancouver and, and it's hard to make big changes, right? Yeah. But after my fight with Calvillo, um, and I knew I knew before that I, I knew I had to do a big change for me to 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 keep to to go to the next level. Uh, you know, partners and and, and, and lack of partners and, and um you know the training is so much different. The coaches, you know, I'm I'm 24-7 with them all the time, you know, so that's what I needed. And and once I, I made the change, it like it's like uh, it's like a, a whole different view. Um, it's different. Honestly, I feel I feel so good. And what did you think about? I mean, it was such a great fight with Alexa and Valentina. And obviously, uh, people are talking about the 10-8 round at the end, which I thought it was a closer round than that. I thought Valentina looked good in the earlier part of the round, and then Alexa, very dominant at the end. Uh, what did you think about that 10-8 and the fight overall? Yeah, you know, uh, when you have a fight like that, it's, it's, it's difficult to, you know, to score. It was a great fight. They they both did an amazing job. Um, they both have their moments, right? But to, you know, to, to be a champ, you got to beat the champ. 
And, um, you know, I, I go to train with Alexa Grasso every single day and, and, you know, she have improved so much and, and a lot of stuff that she was doing to her, it hurt, you know, like yeah. Alexa, her, her knee popped tw- twice when she had that heel hook. Oh, she, really? oh, towards the end of the round, right? That was literally right at the end of the round. Yeah. She, she hear two pops. She told me that she hear two pops. So I don't know how her knee is. Uh, hopefully it's nothing super serious, but um, yeah, she heard two pops. What round was that? Was that early in the fight? Do you know what round that was? It may have been third round. I think it was either third or fourth. I'm not sure though. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was cool. Wow. So she popped her leg with that? Yeah. Uh, she was that right was up against the fence too, wasn't she? It looked like she was, and I always, I thought at the end, like, ah, there's no time. It didn't look like it did any type of damage at all. I didn't realize it actually hurt her. Yeah, I mean... I mean, uh, uh, she did a good job of hiding it, I think, but Alex told me that she hear two pops. Something tells me she has a good poker face. Valentina, yeah. <laughs> a book could be hanging off. She'll probably, you know. She, I yeah. mean, she's a, listen, what, hey, props to both fighters. Amazing I, fight. But I was totally okay with the decision. In a, a sense, blog. it was very close. And in that case, to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. I would have been more uncomfortable with the decision if it ended with Valentina on Alexa's back because it ended the way it ended with Alexa looking for the hunting for the submission. It kind of feels a little bit more just that she still has the belt. If that, well, if that yeah. makes sense. Like I agreed with the draw. I felt it was a draw. I felt, but I just didn't like that 10, eight round, but the fact that they, they were a draw, I was okay with that. It was a very even fight. And I hated to see anybody lose that fight because it was so close. Exactly. Hey. Yeah, I think it was it was good. You know, I don't know if they're gonna throw it back. I'm not sure what's next for for them, but yeah, it, it you know it was it was a great fight. Yeah, now Loopy, a win is a win, but you know you you're coming off a, a now a, a few wins uh, and you had a couple of decision wins, but there's something great about getting a, a finish. You know, whether it's a knockout or a submission, it's been a little bit since you got a a, a finish. This was a finish. How doesn't it just feel glorious? We're not waiting for the judges. We know we, I mean, you more than did your job. It's just, it's just a different feeling getting that finish, isn't it? It is a different feeling. And, you know, as I say, I, it, what happened in the fight is exactly what we were drilling. You know, I dropped her with the hook, which we were drilling the hook. I even hurt my hand when we were in camp um, from throwing, um, from throwing the hooks, I was cracking them so hard. And Pancho, uh, Francisco Grasso, the coach, told me, you're going to drop her with the hook. You're going to drop her with the hook. Um, Diego Lopez told me, you are going to submit her and you're going to get the bonus of the night. He told me that because when we started working together, he told I told him, I'm like, honestly, I have a really hard time finishing the, the real naked choke and, and my transition. You know, like I'm pretty good at taking people down and controlling. But once we get to the submission game, I was having a hard time. I was having a hard time doing it. He said, don't worry. You're going to finish the fight and you're going to get a bonus. And it happened. Exactly. And when did he tell you this was before the fight or in between rounds? No, he told me when we started camp. When we oh, started camp. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's like, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give everything for you to, to, to do that. And, and, and we're going to do it. And in the back, we were drilling exactly that. I took his back. I got a picture, a video, actually. I'm going to, we're going to post it uh, soon in the week. He said he's going to do the two two videos together. I I had him exactly how I finished the fight. And, and, and it happened, you know, like I'm so thankful for, for the whole team. Why were you having a hard time finishing the, uh, the rear naked? What, what was going, what were you doing that wasn't working? Yeah, I just didn't feel uh, too strong when I was having someone's back. Um, it was, I, I needed a little bit more details, I believe. And and he gave me those details, you know, it, it made a bit that, you know, a different coach made explain me those details before, probably. But the way he um, he does things and all the time, like we were drilled for three hours straight, the same thing you know he had that time for me and for Alexa and, and and for you know for you know we have a little group of fight uh whoever fighting next all the attention goes to that to that person so it was like drilling every day and and it was just just imagine just drilling middle of the day for like two three hours every single day right and then and then the night time there is a whole different training 
that is also drilling and, and sparring and, and, and doing what, you know, what we need to do in the fight. And of course, it's going to happen, you know, like when you train like this, you're going to fight like that, you know, and, and also with Colin Danes, like takedowns after takedowns and transitions after transitions and Pancho, uh, Francisco Grasso with, with the punching power and, and the speed and, and the footwork. And, oh man, it was so much. Like sometimes I will just feel like so yeah. drained. Because it was like, it was the most intense fight camp I ever have. Well, it paid off. Yes, and it did. Jimmy, my little friend here, he asked you that question about the rear naked choke because he just, Loopy, get this. He just recently started his jujitsu journey. So now, two times a week, maybe three sometimes, he's strangling people. So he wants to know. He wants to get the extra tips. Right, That's Jimmy? right. Well, even but even when a really good fighter admits that, like, yeah, hey, this thing I needed to do better, it's kind of encouraging. Like, you, you're never at a point where you just got it all wrapped up. Like, there's always something to learn. And, and what I was hearing you say that, I'm wondering back to that first round when she kept putting her hand in and blocking that choke. Was it was your mind going, oh shit? See, here it goes. Was, was there yeah. any doubt seeping in? No, it wasn't. Ah. Because was going to transition from there you know we we were prepared for that i i knew if she blocked it it's not a problem i can transition from there and still be tight and not lose the position you know so i i honestly usually it's exactly in my past fights and then i get them to the ground and then i was trying to do something that's why i didn't try too many submissions before because i didn't want to lose position mm. but i wasn't worried at all I'm like, okay, I cannot take the back or I cannot finish in the back. No problem. I can transition to this thing. I cannot finish the next thing. Don't, oh, it's okay. I have the next thing, you know, because every day for hours, we were drilling the same thing. Not for one, not for two hours, for three, for three hours every day. And, and you know, working with Alexa every day, you know, like you cannot go wrong with that. Drillers make killers, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah. But it must have it must have been a great confidence booster too. After after thinking like I'm, I need work on this, and then working on it and actually finishing the fight the way he predicted. Exactly, like it was it was it was great, you know. And 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 I'm gonna tell you something. In in the gym, it's really hard to get in those positions. It's really hard to it's really hard to finish. Of Alex Agrasso, it's really hard to 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 finish my training partners. But that also give me. A lot of confidence because I know when once I step for competitions, I know it's gonna come easy, easier, and um, and and it happened. <laughs> it looked amazing. Hey, Loopy, yeah. now what's next for you now? Come on, on top of the world, never looked better. Dominant, dominant performance, man. Just the finish was excellent. What's next? Who do we who do we want? Don't be afraid to call out a name. Yeah, you know, I have never called anybody um like 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 to fight, but um, you know, whoever they give me, I wanna I wanna keep going up uh in the rankings, of course, and um and go from there. You know, I'm waiting for to, to hear from the UFC to see who they want me to fight. Um I'm open whoever they give me, you know, and, and we wanna get closer to to that belt and of course show and i gotta show them that that i can maintain that that level of um of uh performances right yeah Heck and you yeah. also won i mean you've won five out of six uh your only loss recently was to uh, a good fight decision with angela hill um and uh, do you want to fight before the end of the year because i think this is your third fight in 2023 three and oh um and you, there's plenty of time i mean we're in september october maybe maybe on a december card or do you feel like i want to rest until early next year yeah, uh, I mean, if they give me a fight at the end of the year, it's okay. You know, if they want me to wait until the new year, it's okay. I hear, I think uh, someone was saying that they're going to Mexico next year. So yeah. that would be great. Um, but, you know, um, working with, with with my new team, with, with Team Lobo, it's been, it's been amazing. You know, I'm, I'm like, who, honestly, whoever they give me. That's so whoever, great. We'll be ready. Uh, I'm a, well, I'm excited. I can't wait yeah. to see you fight again. And Loopy, let me let me tell you. I was just telling Jimmy, me and my wife are almost done with Yellowstone. We need a new show. Are you what are you streaming? Are you watching anything? Are you reading any books? And audiobooks count too. Give us something. 
that you're doing? Oh, man. Uh, I was so busy in fight camp that I wasn't, you know, it was sleep, eat, and, and train because we were trained middle of the day and night time, three hours each session. So there is no time to to watch stuff. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead. But, but once I get back to Vancouver, um, I am going to pick something and then I'll message you. <laughs> That's what we want. I want to know. Yeah. I need to get into something else, you know. And uh, now when you're not training, well, give us a hobby you like to do. Now you get to relax. Do you like to do, do hiking? Do you like to go on bike rides? What do you like to do, Loopy? You like to dance. What are you doing when you're not training now? You got a little R&R. Yeah, well, I have a, a dog and I love oh, to what go. Kind of, what kind of dog? He's a Formosa and Mountain dog. He's from Taiwan. He's a rescue from Taiwan. How big? He's uh, about 15 pounds. 50. Oh, that's not that big. Okay, 50, five zero? Five zero, yes. Okay. Um, and by the way, it must have felt good to get your win on uh, on Mexican Independence Day. Did that mean anything to you? That felt really special, right? Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. Like, the the um, all the crowd, the flags, all the screaming, and all, the whole five week, it was amazing. The the wins, the, we had mariachi in there, you know. It was, it was such a great experience, and... I'm like, okay, this is this is like booster, you know. I I I I I describe it as a drug. Uh, and then I told them in the interview, I don't do drugs, I don't know how you feel with drugs, but most feel like that, you know. As Good. As you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a like you I don't know, it's like um you're high or something. I don't know. It was uh it's really, really um it was amazing. It couldn't have gone any better for you. It really, it was an extremely dominant fight against a very, very tough opponent. And yes. you finished, you finished it and, and uh, you earned it because uh, I mean, she really made you work and you did, you didn't get discouraged. I love seeing a fight like that. I love watching somebody who's really hard to be put away and then just to watch how the, how, how somebody manages to do it like you did. So congratulations, a great night for you. And uh, hopefully you fight before the end of the year. Yeah, that will be great. I, that uh, that will be great if they give me one. If not, it's okay. No, no problem. And I'll I'll still keep getting better and training hard and you know just doing that. Well, good win, uh, Lupi. Great fight, and uh, we'll have you on again. And thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. Thank you so much, guys. All right, have Thanks, a great Lupi. one. Bye. Have a good day. You Bye. too. Great yeah, that meant something to her too. That was nice. She really that was a little something extra special, you know. Yeah, man. I, I'm glad that uh I'm glad we got her on. She's won it. She's an entertaining fighter. They yes. were smart to put her as the head prelim. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. That, that was right before people would want to they want to watch the rest of the card after that. You know what I mean? It's amazing though what women's MMA has become. Like, you know, when you look back. It's like the main event of the uh, of the undercard was Loopy against Elise Reed, and then of course Valentina against Alexa as the main card. It's it's amazing how far it's come, and how many real name uh, fighters there are, w women fighters. This is great to see. Shit, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, I, love it. I enjoy it. Some most some of the times, the best fights on the card are the women. Hundred percent. Um, that, that, that that main event that that did not disappoint at all. Or, you know, no, I mean? I, I'm furious at that Mike Bell, uh, but I'm happy for the draw. I just I think it was just gross that he did that. Yeah, man. I'm gonna watch it again. That fifth round, as soon as we're done, I'm gonna watch that fifth round again. Uh ooh. ooh. Ah, Blanchfield <laughs> against uh, Blanchfield <laughs> against uh, Fioro. In the meantime, if we get a trilogy from. Alexa and Valentina. Oh, you're oh, you're asking. Like, that's a good question. Yes, I thought that was a booked fight. You got me very excited. Yes, I got that excited, be... producer. Yeah, but, uh, listen, I should have read I this do... question first. Blanchfield. I think Blanchfield should fight next for the title, and uh, I think that would be exciting. And I think Blanchfield's a problem for everybody. Yes, yeah, I is. think I think that girl's going to be a champion. She's a I think there's levels on the floor, and she's got it. She's got it, man. And she's shown that she could stand up, too. That, I can't wait for her to fight for the title. Um, yeah, yeah, she's number uh, – she's tied. Oh, uh, her and uh, Manon, uh, Manon are, are tied for second. 
So it's it's eleven and Talia one and Santos. twelve and one. I'm sorry, buddy. Talia Santos. What is she? Ah, uh, she's fourth because they're tied for second. So there's she's technically the fourth, but she could be third. Caitlin Chikagian is is fifth. So really? I mean that top ten: Macy Barber, Jennifer Maya, uh, Vivian Arahu. I mean, what a great top ten. Great um, top ten, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Yes, well, have you been practicing Kimoras? That's why your name is Kimora Daddy on here. Is that why? I have. Yeah, I told you they were. They've been showing like if I try for a head and arm choke, and uh, and he starts rolling, how to just spin and grab again. I still get a little confused, like as to which arm is pushing and which arm is pulling the forearm. No. It's not automatic yet. Well, if you're Kimora Daddy, I'd be Kimora Granddaddy. You understand, man? I've been snatching limbs for years, son. Now I'm not necessarily snatching them. I'm just hoping there's one flailing and I'll give it a little gentle grab. I'll be snatching them eventually. And I'm such a pussy. I, I never want to hurt somebody. So whenever I put it behind, I just kind of let it go gently right behind and I stop. And I'm probably not doing it right, but I always feel like I'm gonna, my ignorance is going to hurt somebody in the gym and I don't want that. I have blue belts helping me train and I don't want to fucking be an idiot and, and be a dumb rookie and hurt them like, because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't. Yeah, I don't think you're like a bull in a china shop in there with your gear on. I think you're doing fine. You and your goblet. All right, listen. Yes, hey, Matt. This is how I drink my this, beverage. This it's, Wednesday, it's more, it demands you're... respect. Commands respect. You, you might, every time you pick that up, I feel like I'm in a fucking uh, accounting meeting. Yes, what would like, you like to say, Matthew? This is what I want to say. <laughs> that the movie Dread that I've talked about over and over again is now on Netflix. And... I don't have a horse in the race. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I hate. I love hearing Matt cough. Jimmy, Matt, yes, buddy. It is now on Netflix, and you can watch it, and you can enjoy it, and it's fun. It you loved is it. fun. Okay, and it's the most underrated comic book movie ever. Paul or Kurt Urban, I think it's Paul Urban. But he was in the boys. He is so good at ju as Judge Dredd. This do not get this confused with the with Stallone. Stallone movie. Okay, it is not, the Stallone movie is a stinker. Uh, but the Call Urban movie is so good. It's called Dread, and it's uh, it's got the who's the girl from um, Kate Winslet, Kathy Stop. Bates, Angelica Houston. Gotta stop. Hold on. Hold on. I know Game who you Thrones. mean. From who? Game of Thrones. Oh, from Game, Thrones. from Game of Thrones. Yes, I would say that would be uh, the, the dragons. Guy. And the side, the side kicking it. The girl who plays the psychic. She is Brenda so Vaccaro. Oh, Dread on Netflix. Anyway, Jimmy, go I'll ahead. Watch it. What do you want to plug? I will Ooh. watch it Wednesday night, buddy. I'll be doing my hour at the Fat Black Pussy Cat. It's been going so well, and. uh a lot of unfiltered fans have been coming out to shows, so I do appreciate it. And I'm in Toronto, the 28th, finally making a Canadian return after a few years, um, backed by popular demand. Yeah, I like unfortunately that's not the case. But I like when you're on stage and they go, Matt Sarah. I that? do too. I'm always happy for a shout wait, wait, out. Hold on, did they yell that? No. Jimmy, when are you going to invite me to go hang out with you and, and uh, Sam again? Whenever you want to come in. You're, you have an so open much, invitation. How about this? Had so much fun last time. You come in. I like when Voss is in there. That's you the first time anyone's ever right. said that, by the way, about anything. You have to have me in there with the right crowd. I will. Today is Rich Voss's 18th wedding anniversary. Is it really? Yes, it is. Married so to a Joe lovely Riley. woman. It's also Joe Riley's 18th wedding anniversary. He's one of my black belts and one of oh. the police officers. Okay. Why does that matter? It doesn't, but you brought up uh, anniversaries. Sure. I mean, hey, okay. look, he's a black belt, of course. That'd be nice to him. He is. He's dangerous. Jimmy, thank you, man. I had a, uh, by the way, do you know I taught the 7 a.m. and the noon class? I, I live this shit, Jimmy. You do. Look, this says, look, Sarah BJJ County. Yeah. I'm only going right. a couple. I'm only going a couple times a week for jujitsu and a couple times for Muay Thai. I just don't want to get beat up at the movie theater. That's all. Jimmy, well, listen, I'm going to talk to you when? In a couple of days? Wednesday, sir. And thank you to uh, Lupe yes. Godinez, too. Always, always a delight. And we will talk to you soon. Jimmy, I can't wait. Jimmy, go check out Dread. All right, buddy. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.